travel expenses for Computex 2018, paid for in part by Fractal Design. Yeah, if you haven't seen our coverage of the Fractal Define R6, you should gotta check out our videos on the Define R6. We've done a Threadripper build, we've done an i9 build. It's cool, it's quiet, it's competent, it's a really awesome cache, and you should check out our videos on that. Travel expenses for Computex also paid in part by ASRock. Yes. ASRock, the many PCs and graphics cards, and ASRock's just building everything these days. Whether you swing Team Red or Team Blue, ASRock has got something for you, I think. So be sure to check out our coverage of all of their motherboards, everything from IOMMU groups to full UEFI tours, which I know only the people that are basically getting ready to pull the trigger look at those UEFIs. Everybody else doesn't care. So big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring us and you really should check out our other coverage of, of ASRock products and our coverage from Computex 2018. Now for the last video of Computex, we've got future products. It's basically all future products, although there's a couple things here you can get now from Deepcool and G-Skill. Deepcool, you know, they're pretty famous for their quad stellar case, but they're also working on more affordable cases and more, more cases and RGB coolers and all-in-one coolers, sort of for the everyman. And they had a new case line, the, the Matrix line. So they have the, the 55, the 65, and the 75. And the price for those cases ranges from $39 MSRP to $89 or $90. Well, I should say $40 to $90 MSRP. And they're all tempered glass. They're all manufactured a little different. So, I mean, of course, the $40 case is going to be a little bit less expensive, a little bit less expensive material, a little bit more flex in that case. Maybe it depends on the tempered glass for a little bit of its structural support then we've also got the matrix 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 i don't know uh 65 and that has one usb 3.0 port at the top and one usb 2.0 port you've got your rgb controls headphone microphone it breathes at the front through these vent holes in the side but it can also breathe around the rgb strip so it can pull air in from the front around the RGB strip because it's kind of recessed and there's a little bit of breathability there. But the main sort of front vents are at the side of the front panel. It can breathe through the bottom and the back. It's an interesting looking aesthetic that Deep Cool is going here, going for here, I think. So, you know, more power to them. They've got the, the rainbow fans too, so that it really shows off your, your RGB fanness. If you're into RGB, I don't, I don't get the RGB trends personally, but hey, if you want a rainbow light show inside a tempered glass box, eh, this seems like this could, could fit the bill. Now the Matrix 75, even, it's a $90 case, but it was substantially better build quality. It was a little taller, a little wider, tempered glass or an optional mesh at the front, better front panel controls, you know, the front panel USB 3.0, USB 3.1 Gen 1 interface, some more options for radiators, you know, 280, 360 millimeter radiator type options it's a little bit higher in case and it it looks a little better now they're still working on what they're going to do exactly for the front panel so the the styling here of the front panel is probably going to change a little bit in the final product but these things are expected in basically september of 2018 so yeah future products would keep an eye out for that they also had the uh you know castle rgb series all-in-one coolers 240 and 280 millimeter uh coolers and i mention these because they have a really unique aesthetic i mean whether you're into rgb or not into rgb there's like this mirror dimensional thing going uh on the actual pump side of things so i don't know that's a, it's an interesting aesthetic they also had an updated captain rgb cooler as well and they were showing off some some other stuff now over at the g-skill booth things were a little different I'm a G-Skill and I found a mistake. I see, I'm like one of the last people to come to the G-Skill booth and I'm the only person that noticed. It's in the lovely Fractal Define R6. It's great, you've got the uh, red, white, and blue, and red, white, and green, you know, quad channel memory set up in this and uh, it was labeled as SODIMS. Definitely not SODIMS. So the question becomes, what is G-Skill working on? They've got keyboards that maybe, maybe not have some updates to their headset, we don't know. And then of course memory. The memory, they've taken the world record for overclocking, 5133. In terms of kits that they're working on, I mean they're not working on a 5133 kit that you can buy, but 4133, 4200, 4000, you name it. They've got that for 4000 for AMD systems, 4200 for Intel systems that they were showing off. 
Now keep in mind that most of these kits that you're seeing for both Team Red and Team Blue are not available yet. G-Skill is working on They're hoping to have them out in Q4, but validation and qualification take time. The timings are kind of high. I mean, if you look at the timings here, it's like, oh, it's DDR4-4000, but, you know, we're talking 22 timings on, on the high side. And, you know, maybe that works out. I don't know. I've got to run the benchmarks. I've got to sort of figure that out and see what that is. But overall, the memory clock, the memory frequency is increasing. The SODIMs are really, really exciting because, hey, SODIMs, finally. That'll be really great for especially Ryzen laptops, I would think. So that's another thing that needs to be tested. It's like, what happens if you put fast SODIM memory in these new Ryzen laptops? Oh, we gotta try that. But I digress. The, uh, the bleeding edge RAM technology. This is like looking into the future of RAM technology and this becoming mainstream will be great. 